Hello, blasters and bomb voyages. My name is TB Sky. Arcane, more arcane, more arcane. So, so the way this works, there's a timer on screen. You can use that to sort of help you synchronize with where I am in the episode if you need to pause or something. Um, we're watching this on Netflix. I'm going to give you a countdown. Once the countdown is done, press play on your Netflix, like all the way over to the left before the Netflix logo, then press play. Then we go. I'll try and do a commentary. I'm a little bit excited. Echo's dead, maybe. Jinx? I don't know. She's not dead. She's going to be revived. Uh, something's going to happen. Yeah, fucking cliffhangers. Anyway, uh, uh, five, four, three, two, one, go. Okay. 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 Oh, that would be Mel, wouldn't it? Yep. So we're getting her backstory now. Oh, that's blood on a throne. Okay. That's a very literal thing. Very Game of Thrones. Is that a Solari chess piece? No. That's her mom. So this is the af this is Ionia. So that's Ionia, that's the aftermath of the Noxian invasion. Anyway, that's why Mel is the way she is. Oh, is she going to be asked to kill? My father wanted me to know death. Hello, Noxus. This is what Noxus is, by the way. Um. Yeah, oh boy. Just in case anyone was like, hey, Noxus are the good guys. No. Jace fucking <laughs> useless himbo. But yeah, that's why she is the way she is. Yeah, Marcus is still dead. Which is bad news for Silco, because that's his... Huh, I'm not seeing Echo's body anywhere. Like I said, Silco genuinely does care for her. Doesn't mean the relationship isn't toxic. It just means, you know.
she's gonna be fine, Vi. Uh, banger alert! Banger alert! I wake up to the sounds of the silence that arouse my mind to run around, put my ear up to the ground. I'm searching to behold the stories that I told. I'm practiced the world and the smiling when I turned. Tell you you're the greatest. But once you turn, they hate us. Oh, the misery. Everybody wants to be my enemy. Spare the sympathy. Everybody wants to be my enemy. I swear I'll never be insane away. My enemy way away. I swear I'll never be a saint. Look out for yourself. Yeah, sorry. People sink to this. So that's what the way it goes. Oh, boy. Anyway, Silco has lost his pet enforcer. So that's bad for his plans. Oh, Jace, is that the first time you've seen the consequences of your actions? Two D vomit. Yeah, <laughs> it's two D vomit. But of course, this is the thing that pushes Jace to become more militaristic. And also Mel, as you can see on her expression there. Hey! Caitlin brought up girlfriend home. <laughs> Talk about meeting the parents the right way. Good girl, Caitlin. Man, hand animating the steam coming off her tea is so fucking extra. Like, you can, you can just do a filter. Like, you can just do a... There's so many 3D effects that'll generate that shit for you, but they hand animated it. Anyway, Singeless looking like he's doing good. Anyway, shit's about to get bad. <laughs> KO, yeah. You what? Whoa, 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 go back. Hang on, wait, what? Singed had a what? If that's not teasing a champion, I don't know what is. How the fuck 
get singed to have sex. How did that happen? Man, I love the character designs of those Kim Barons. Hmm, I like it. Uh, I've got a delivery at the door, so I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> My roommate had a delivery at their door. The cigarette lighter is his offer. If she takes his offer, he lights her cigarette on it. Yeah, there it is. Again, visual metaphor. This show is so good. Like, she's taking what he's, he's offering to an extent. Anyway, hello, Mom. Who's the big lad on the right? Some people are going to be thirsty for this lady, I'm sure. And look at the dolly zoom on Mel. She's fucking terrified of her. Mel is terrified of this woman. Mothers and daughters, huh? Oh, I think I know who. I love her scars, by the way. Yeah, she's not wrong. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, based. I like her. <laughs> okay, Mel's mom fucks. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit, I like her. <laughs> she rules. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Come on! <laughs> Jesus Christ. If they don't kiss at some point. This is so straight. This is so incredibly heterosexual. <laughs>
Jesus. Again, pay attention to the eyes. Pay attention to the eyes. Like the eyes, they're doing everything. Jesus, come on! Oh, that's a match cut. But yeah, say hello to Jinx, because... I think the Shimmer is going to supercharge whatever is going on. The eyes... Fucking hell, the imagery. Yeah, and Sin's just having fun with it. He absolutely is. Hey, Heimerdinger. First time you've been to the Undercity in a while? First time you've seen what it's like down there? I think he's come to see what... Like, his failures. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so cute. That's so cute. Oh my god, that's so cute! Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit, that's cute! Ugh. Like I've said, Heimerdinger is a good boy. Friends, let them be friends. No shit. <laughs> oh, she's so cool! She's so cool! She's so cool! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I love her! <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit! Oh, 
Oh my god! This is so horny! Oh boy. Oh. <clears throat> oh my god. <sighs> oh my god. <sighs> oh yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, I blacked out there for a second. What happened? Countless indeed. Jace. Yeah, I'm going to have words about this later, but for now, this is how the story progresses. That's Vander talking, by the way. Yeah, what about us? Yo, oh, come on! Why? <laughs> but anyway, confirmed. Very confirmed. Confirmed. Like, not... <sighs> it's still coding. It's still not explicit. But it's confirmed. Fuck off, it's confirmed. Anyway, hey, how's our boy Victor doing, by the way? Oh, that, that foot doesn't look right.
That, I'm not sure that's good, Victor. I mean, I... I okay, well, yeah, I, I hope that works out. This is a good scene, though. Look, oh, look at the animation. Look how he's gaining confidence. Oh, that's so good. Oh, the character animation here is so good. But we, we, he was running next to boats, right? And he had that mechanical boat when he was a child that he couldn't keep up with. Now he's outrunning them. Ah. Uh. Oh, Sky. No, 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 Sky. Sky. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think I see what's going to happen. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's carved the runes into himself now. No. Oh, no. There's gonna be a price to pay for magic, Victor. There's gonna be a price to pay! Fuck, that animation is gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. That was a little cheap. That was a little cheap. Like that was kind of a that was kind of a cheap fridging. Um but okay, all right. But yeah, that's the void. That's 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 the void. I don't care what anyone says. That's the void. And that's hand animated fire, flame, lava, molten metal, whatever.
Okay, that's a better plan than I thought she had. So, notice the change in color temperature from, like, bright red with the fire of passion. And then we get these sort of much more, like, cool, deflated, calm. Because we're in this moment of stealth before they hit them. Whose gun was that? Ah, well, yeah. You might need some armor or something. Fucking hell, Jace. <laughs> Still brutalizing children. Oh, there they are. There's the chem tanks. Oh, here come the firelights. Oh, no, that's not the firelights. Well, that'll be the first time the enforcers have ever had to face something else that's faceless and terrifying. All right, Jace, if you're going to do something, time to do it. Oh, that rules. Oh, that fucks. It really should have been here comes Vi. Oh, that fucks. Look how the, the way they, again, they use 2D animation completely to emphasize... Oh my god, that's so good! To emphasize the hits and the motion. Hey! Transformation. Oh my god, that spin! Oh, that's so cool! Everything about this rules so hard. Oh, the rip cage. Oh, that's so good. Time to shock blast. Oh, hey. Look what else happens. Remember what Mel said? You don't know war. Well, that's an on-screen death of a child. Again. This show just can't stop. Oh, hey, Silco uses child labor. Isn't that funny? Mm -hmm. 
Again, notice his eyes. The eyes are doing the work. Hand animated water droplets. That's very cool. Look, it's confirmed. It's confirmed. Go get your girl. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that's not good. All right then. Okay. So motherfucker, like god, da like we knew I knew from the trailers that the fight scene with Jason Vi when they're fighting the 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 chem the chem tech turbo tanks. I knew that was going to fuck, but I didn't know it was going to fuck quite that hard. Like that, holy shit, that rules. Um, and yeah, so everything's coming to a head now. And like I said, um... Um, I haven't paused for those people who are watching along live. I haven't paused anything. We're just going to watch the credits and then it's going to roll over to the next episode and then we're going to be fine. Uh, don't worry. Uh, and if things go wrong, we'll just remake the browser. Don't worry. Um, yeah. Like, so everything's coming to a head now. Um, oh, it, all, oh, it already rolled over for some of you. Yeah, well, that happens. Uh, fucking teleparty. Um... So, yeah, so, so again, the show is ending on a cliffhanger, but the tension curve is ramping up. And as the tension curve ramps up, like shit gets more and more insane, right? Like shit gets more and more crazy. Um, and especially like, like Jace begins the show as like, he's just an inventor kid. Now he's running around, swinging around like a super powerful hex tech weapon, like shooting shock blasts all over the place. Um, and, like, things are going to head. And Victor, like, he... Okay, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna remake the room. Uh, I'm gonna remake the room for everyone who's watching along with me live. Sorry. Teleparty, why are you so buggy? You're supposed to be easy. Um, things are coming to a head for Victor because he's seeing the price, right? Like, specifically, he's seeing the price of the thing. Because, like, the thing that happened with the Victor, right, is that he got his leg back. And if he had just done that, it would have been fine. Like, if he had only gotten his leg back, it would have been fine. But he had to go further. Like, he couldn't, He it wasn't enough for him. Like, he got tempted, he got pulled in. And that's something that, like, Heimerdinger has already warned him about, is that this power, like, it corrupts people. It's dangerous. It it gets you. Um... Um, like it, it pulls you in and you, and like eventually there's a price to pay. And that's what gets shown with Sky is that like his experiments ultimately cost her her life. I think it's a little cheap. Um, I think it's a little cheap to, to like to bring her in, like to introduce the secondary female character only to, to kill her, like only so she can die to make Victor sad. Like that's a classic case case of fridging. That's a little bit like, eh. um, like that. That's a little cheap uh, to have that happen. Which, like, I would rather, and th that's one of the problems with the show being as short as it is. Like, um, that we have like these nine episodes. That's all we get, and they're filled to the brim. Like they're absolutely filled to the brim. Um, 
with everything. So there's not time. Like, because if Sky had been actually developed as a character, like if she had actually been a, like a major secondary character in the show, um, if she'd actually had development, if she'd had an arc, if she'd had some agency in her life, then like her death would hit a lot harder and feel a lot more legitimate. But because she's really just an NPC, like she's really just like we we see her in one flashback where she like looks at Victor. Oh, okay, there's a connection there, and then she's their assistant in the background. She doesn't really get any spoken lines. Nobody nobody really cares about her. Nobody really talks about her, and it's like oh, she has a crush on Victor. Ha ha ha. And then she's just kind of used as fodder. Like they just kind of they just kind of use her as fodder to kill her without really giving her a story of her own. She just exists to be the price that Victor pays for his evolution, like to make him to make his trauma, his tragedy more sad, but not really for her own sake. And that's that's cheap. Like it's a storytelling trope. I understand why they did it, um, but that's cheap. Like that's a cheap way to use a character. Like that's a cheap way to use someone. Um, and if Arcane had been like 12 episodes instead of nine, maybe we could have spent like an episode or two or some time in them, like actually developing her and giving her an actual story so that when she dies, it's actually a tragedy and not just like, not just an NPC getting wiped out. Um... It is cheap. Like, it's cheap to ch treat any character like that. And it's normal. Like, it's also normal. It's a normal, it's a common trope. I just don't like it very much. I think it's... I think it's I think it's a little... Like, at, at, in a show that's otherwise so good, uh, I think that's a little bit on the cheap side. Anyway, I don't know how the fuck they're gonna wrap all of this up in one episode, but uh, I'm excited to find out, so... Yeah, like, comment, subscribe, I guess. Uh, Patreon algorithm, it's there. I, I don't know, my brain is melted right now. I need to, I need to rewatch that entire fight scene. Holy shit. Uh, wear a mask, wash your hands, vaccines, Sarah. Um, yeah, more arcane. More. I need more. I need, I need to finish this.